Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Hopcat. New Year, Old Me. Cool. Little Z. Um, this is... <laughs> This is the new year, I guess. Uh, yeah. Can I get a... <laughs> yeah, P.I.O. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, I wanted to do that. Um, tour. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of them new years, it's, eh? Guys, we've had, we've had so many events since the last podcast, and that's the best you can procure. Yeah, the, 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 the Macca's drive through. Can I get a... Uh, <laughs> oh, you know what, though? It's because it's this episode is going to come out like a few weeks into the year as well. Yeah. Because we took a bit of time off over Christmas, pre-recorded some episodes that will go up early January. Mm. And then uh, I mean, if you guys are watching this, it doesn't even seem like a new year. So we just all seem like... We have no idea how to, <laughs> True. how to be on a podcast, but yeah, yeah, yeah it we, is currently what the second of January. This yeah. will come out on the sixteenth, I believe. Yeah, we've had a few oh. weeks off, and you can tell. <laughs> yeah, you can tell. No, but this is still the best podcast we've recorded all year. Unrivaled oh. audio entertainment it is for the truly year. Unrivaled this year. <laughs> like Mr. Beast says that thing. Oh, there you go, Mr. Beast mentioned pretty early. Ding. Nice, but he says it like every video I make has to be better than the last, and that's yeah. how it keeps making him better and better. Which is obviously not true because he peaked at Squid Game, but uh, then. Oh. Do I like his most recent videos, though. Just to interrupt. Have you seen them? Okay. I think they're better. Agree to disagree? You don't understand. I don't give a fuck about Mr. Beast. (laughs) Yeah. And the point I'm trying to make is, do you think our podcast has gotten better with every single episode? Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. Oh, So you guys are listening to Peak Underdogs Podcast? The best podcast. Not yet, but by the end of the episode, this will probably be our best. The intro intro does say it's unrivaled audio entertainment because it is the best one. So it's unrivaled because if it wasn't better, it'd be rivaled by the previous episodes. Yeah, exactly. So each episode is unrivaled because it's better than the last. That's so true. I don't think there's any podcast bigger than this one. (laughs) (laughs) You know what we should do? We should get a new recording for, what, like we're coming up on episode 100, maybe episode 100. And one new season of the Underdogs podcast. Right. And we're like humble mode, and it like starts with some smooth jazz, and it's like this podcast won't be the best you've ever heard, <laughs> but you might get some laughs. Yeah. You'll get entertained for mm. one hour. You what know, if it was like, just like very like, rivaled, hard the opposite way? Yeah. We set the expectations real low. Then we just come out with a fart noise and everyone's like, whoa, this is good. That's good, yeah. So instead of unrivaled audio entertainment, it's just rivaled audio. Yeah, it'll do. <laughs> Might not be entertaining. It's like rivaled audio. It's like, this is going to be awful. And then one of us cracks like an okay joke and people are like, okay. Yeah, okay. the unexpected. There's the rival. Yeah, that's a good idea for April Fool's. Thank you, chat. April Fool's episode, we do a new <laughs> intro. It's just like, welcome to rivaled audio entertainment. And no, then it's we, just pretty we, average. I think we get a season two intro. I think I could pay that guy 50 bucks to do a new voiceover. Okay, sick. Was that on Fiverr? Yeah, and oh, it wasn't yeah, nice. 50, it was maybe five. <laughs> <laughs> Good Good deal. Five on five on. We got a lot out of it. Yeah. yeah. A lot. It's a our lot. personality. Oh, but then I paid... No, no, no. And then someone made that audio track for free because they they made that audio. I don't know if we've talked about this before, but it was a long time ago, so... Well, it was from a fan. Yeah, the first one was Respect. me singing. I don't know if you remember yeah, the old yeah, yeah. 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 in the background, I right? was just going like... And then I was going like... And then someone made it into a full epic track. So we just stole it for free. People in chat saying they thought I did the voiceover. My voiceover voice is not anywhere near that good. I'm flattered that you guys might have thought so. You do have a good voiceover voice. But it's not like like that. Do you have any like season two voiceover things you could drop for the Underdogs podcast? We'll get some Um. sound bites. Anything you think will Rivaled happen? Rivaled audio entertainment. Yeah. That's good, it's, yeah. It's just okay. <laughs> you might miss this week. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> yeah, listen You've to it later a, or not. Yeah. Busy schedule. Put it in the watch later, then yeah. forget about it. <laughs> As we do. Uh, so, don't, don't actually, don't do that. Should we talk about our new years? I was looking at Jackson's notes. Well, should I just go through the notes? Off? Yeah, can we have the, the itinerary, please? All right, I've got a game. It's called New Year Who Here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. It's a, that's so good. I don't think, but like I said, this will be maybe coming out on, what, like January? Yeah, but we, have, it's still we can't talk about New Year's later. Yeah. yeah. And then New Year talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then we got Peter's Cliffhanger. Uh, returning this year. I want to know. What's the <laughs> Tell me. You won't find out till later. Shit. Uh, is Jordan's question of the week. Ooh. Remember that segment? 
got Cool Cat Bad Dog. We got an update from someone, and we've got a new one. Sick. An update. An update. Ooh. And we've got predictions for this year. So a lot of New Year's content. <laughs> I'm, I'm, re- I'm really hoping that the like the update on the Bad Dog Cool Cat is like we we said someone was justified in doing something awful, and they've just kept doing it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the, the, the guy who like tripped over the old lady, and he was like, "Well, I went to the home the other week because <laughs> yeah. apparently that's a Cool Cat move." Yeah. And now his girlfriend's just- like left him. His family's <laughs> yeah. abandoned him. He's been tripping up fucking geriatrics for the past month. <laughs> Gotta stop. Update. I'm in a class. Um, lawsuit for assault. <laughs> Am I a cool cat? Uh, which? What do you want to start with, Zach? Let's talk about uh, New Year's. Let's go. Yeah. How, how was yours? I was with you. Yeah, me and Jack. How was yours? Was it good? <laughs> right, we're right right old. Entertainment, no, we're gonna, like, gonna drop the entertainment. You could have asked anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't know anyone else's New Year. <laughs> no, me and Jackson hit the town. Yeah. Went to a festival ice cream factory and we saw Young Franco and one of my mates was also DJing. Oh, so wow. Bought boiler room, that was good. Uh, it, Peter got me some headlights for my Crocs. Pretty sick. So oh, I said they'd be in the next episode, but you didn't wear them on the pods. That's pretty oh, disappointing. I'll actually. have to bring them next week. Yeah, so next, I have these. Time. I have these bright green. It's kind of similar to Shrek colored Crocs. Mm. And Peter got me some headlights and some Shrek <laughs> ears for the Crocs and some spoilers. But I did not wear the spoilers because otherwise you'd be going too fast. You'd like. Yeah, oh, exactly. but you wore the Crocs out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the, right. With the, the headlights. Crocs to this festival <laughs> with the headlights. And I also got in my Christmas stocking from Maddie's sister. I got these light up cactuses. So like gibbets. Oh, I saw them as well. Yeah. So what? I put them on like, yeah, he's, like he's when, you took, out. when you took a step, these like cactuses like flash light up. <laughs> Where are the cactuses? It, the, gibbets go in the holes of the Crocs. They're oh, like little, really? Like, yeah. Yeah. Gems. Oh, yeah. right. That's cool. Um, so yeah, I had the most epic Crocs and I wore them out. And uh, Were you just like defending yourself from women from all directions uh people were loving them yeah uh, not, mostly men not <laughs> <laughs> yeah i said people uh, yeah. for a reason there yeah. no right. women not a chick magnet guys but you know it's still pretty sick i'd be worried someone would like hit your lights out um, like the shrek lights one of the shrek ears did not make it home oh, so. it happens oh. man it happens I, I mean i think all of them were like three dollars for the yeah, ears. <laughs> ears were not expensive well felt like a christmas present got a great use out of them pretty quick That's and great. then okay let me know what you guys think about this maddie wanted to eat 12 grapes at midnight mm. Why? <laughs> it's good luck in I've Spain. Never though. Heard that. It's, it's good luck. Oh, it's really? like a Spanish tradition. Is it bad luck, luck anywhere else? <laughs> That'd be fun. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it cancels out. Well, actually, Basically, it's bad luck. Like, Hungary's like, don't do that. <laughs> do not touch that Just shit. Just phrase it. It's good luck in Spain. It's like, well, you're not in Spain, are you? Yeah. So don't fucking do that. <laughs> but um, yeah, so she, she was... Like the day before, she's like, no, I need to get my like grapes from the shops. She got her like her pack of grapes. She smuggled 12 grapes into the festival. And then the whole, this whole time I was like, why do you want to do this? Like, we're not Spanish. Like we could come up with our own tradition and do that every year. Like she's, she just latched onto this. No, but this one works. This thing she's seen. Well, only in Spain. So it's not that useful. But does Spanish people do it here? Probably. Do you, does it work if you're Spanish or does it work if... Can a foreign person do it in Spain and See, it works? There's too many variables. Let's if find we just, out. If we just came up with Look up how it started. It's quite confusing. Mr. But Grape. then I don't know what's going to happen to me because I didn't eat the grapes and Maddie did. Oh, it's a good experiment. Had, well, how was yesterday? It was not because I was like, nah, fuck off, babe. I don't want the grapes. No, we were... She ate them. 12 is a lot to get in there. I think like after midnight and then like I wasn't there when she ate them. So then there's six warm grapes downstairs that have not been eaten. Oh, here you go. The time's passed. <coughs> it's a Spanish and Portuguese tradition. Ooh. Ooh. That Ooh. consists of eating a grape with each of the 12 clock bell strikes at midnight. Oh, so yeah, I there's definitely missed that window. Strikes. You know, it's like dong. Well, of course it's 12 o'clock. That. It does the number of clocks it is. Oh, I never knew this. Each yeah, we grape don't use them and much. clock bell strikes represents each of the 12 coming months. So oh, well, there you go. She's sorted for twelve months. You've got no months. Yeah, no months. No great I think. months. Who started the grape thing? Does it say? Eighteen ninety-five with an Alcatanese vine grower spread this custom to encourage vine grape grower. sales. Very nice. Oh, yeah, oh, it's a corporate legend one. due to overproduction during an excellent harvest. <laughs> hey, he's, got like, he's got like tru- <laughs> truck loads of grapes, and he's like, "Guys, it's so sick if you all have twelve. <laughs> he, he, he probably can't believe that worked. <laughs> Everyone, it's good luck, right? Hey guys, it's good luck for your new year to watch every underdog's video in a row on January second or something. Like twelve going good. at once. Yeah, 135 yeah. years later, people are still doing it. He's up in heaven, hopefully. Oh. Going like, holy shit, I can't believe nah, it. he's in hell for that. That's a <laughs> sneaky move. 
<laughs> Ring the bell with every bell chime of the new year, guys. So yeah. then you get notifications. Subscribe, unsubscribe. Yeah. I actually heard the uh, the bell tower on Christmas Eve, going into Christmas, because I was out in the city oh. for that one. Oh, does that bell? Bell tower. Sorry. Yeah, the bell tower. Bell bells, tower. Dude. Oh, bell, I never knew bells this. Gate. So, Jordan, in the bell tower, there's, there's this a thing bell. called a bell. No, no. Nah, nah, <laughs> they do, and on the hour they play, you can hear it if you're in the city on the, on the hour. Oh, wow. And if you're at three o'clock, you hear three bells. It's pretty cool. I never knew this. I think it's from before everyone had watches, right? Yeah, yeah. you would hear it. You'd be like, oh, it's three ah, o'clock. Three. It's sick. Oh, so, yeah. AM, PM. Hearing the 12 going into Christmas was very festive sounding, I got to say. So, yeah. Um, so, that was my New Year's. Missed the grapes. Got the Crocs. Had a fun night. Anyway, what did you guys do? Uh, <laughs> Jackson, what did you do, mate? Jackson. Uh, Jackson, do you have any uh, stories of when you went off? Didn't you, oh, t- didn't you tell me about the silent disco headphones? Oh, so... The sound headphones, you know, sound disco. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So there's three channels at this one, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I went to the toilet, and apparently you're supposed to give your headphones back. <laughs> and then I was just went to the toilet, listening to the music. Still didn't realize no one else was doing it. <laughs> and then I like just tried to walk back in. And he was like, "You need to line up." And I was like, "I've already got the headphones. What do I need to line up for?" And then the guy like wrestled the headphones off. Really? Me. Like you were being like a menace. Well, I was like, I was like, I've already got the headphones. I don't need to line up. And he's like, give those back and get in the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so there's no toilet in the area. No, you had to leave the Oh, that's so disco. annoying. But then I thought I was a little bit too many beverages. I thought I'd been kicked out of the event. Oh. So then I <laughs> text everyone, I'm off. I've been kicked out. <laughs> I'm going home. And then it, and I turned around and someone was there and I was like, oh, I guess I'm not kicked out. <laughs> there's no one like holding you like, all right, if you're making me. <laughs> you're like, you're like, like, huge fuss. Tears are walk- dropping on the phone as he sends the message. It's like, this sucks. <laughs> Peter's green screen. He's like, hold me back, bro. Yeah, yeah. They're kicking me out. That was no. me with the headphones. <laughs> oh, man. My, my favorite image is just like Jackson, like, in the little public toilet with like the silent disco headphones. Yeah, so I'm yeah. just like dropping a deuce, listening to some bangers. <laughs> yep. That's so funny. Just so in, funny. in the toilet, like I'm just imagining the urinal, just like fucking yeah, covered to the beat. in the sink, the toilet was clogged. <laughs> <laughs> headphones Jackson on. Jackson clogger. Good times. Jackson clogger. I didn't clog it. Oh, very nice. Respect. Uh, um, what about you, Oh, mate? yeah. Holly and I had a, had a chill one. We played some Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. That was we nice. had a relaxing night. Yeah, that's about it. It was very fun. Did you, get, did you get to midnight and like... Nah, went to bed at 11. Oh, you're so <laughs> close. <laughs> Pretty close. <laughs> yeah, you try. <laughs> was there a discussion? Like at 11 o'clock you went, do we just do another hour? No, or no, no discussion. discussion. <laughs> no discussion. Really? No, Straight to God. bed. Respect. You guys yeah. are goals. Had a, yeah, had a chill one, but it was very fun playing San Andreas with Holly. Yeah, that's, that's wholesome. It's like my childhood game, yeah. which is a bit weird. But yeah. Mm. Anyways. It's not weird. Peter. Uh, she was like, oh, can we please go to bed? I cannot make it till midnight. She was like, oh, that was keep so playing. fun. <laughs> keep playing. Let me just shoot one more prostitute, please, babe. <laughs> um, I went and went to a party at my sister's, which was fun, hanging out. I, didn't, I haven't been hanging out with my sister very much until recently, and it's actually very funny. I don't know. I, 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 this is probably old news to everyone else. Yeah. But hanging out with your siblings is hilarious. It's great. Because they're just like an alternate reality version of you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's funny. And it's just like, you see, he's like, uh, we're, I'm at a party at her house. And then she's just like, half of the like, I feel like a spearmint milk. And it's such <laughs> a weird thing to do. Like, nobody likes that shit. I'm like, fuck, I love spearmint yeah, milk. Yeah. You like, like, have the same connections yeah, on weird yeah, things. Yeah. And everyone else is just like, ew. And I'm just like, can I have some of that milk? <laughs> <laughs> It's just, I just find it really funny. So mint milk. Yeah, I had a really good time. I was like, mm, mint milk, please. And that was that was my new year. So that was, it yeah. was fun. Yeah, my yeah. sister's over as well at the moment. Been chilling. Good siblings, time, hey? They're the best. I, 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 guys, I've been sleeping on siblings. Yeah, siblings. So good. Oh, better than better sleeping than, yeah. with. <laughs> yes. Alrighty. <laughs> What's the deal with siblings? Me and Jordan on the same page. Of not, no. but making the no, joke. What are you guys but doing? Like, <laughs> no, but making the both made Me and you, joke. Zach. <laughs> Uh, uh, right, next monarchy coming in. I reckon what? stay on that yeah. topic. You really got to incest on it. Sorry. Mm. Do you have another segment ready? Do you want to play New Year Who here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to let that one sit as long as we could. Okay, so what I've done is gone to 2000s for some celebrities and I've given some cryptic clues that rhyme and you got to figure out who it is. All right. Wait, so wait sorry, I missed Go it. again. <laughs> okay, what I've done 
Well, it's gone to the year 2000. So they all, uh, were they born in the year 2000? They're just very famous in the 2000s. Okay. Oh, okay, some okay. are still famous now, but some not so much. You guys know it's Ice Spice's birthday on the 1st of January 2000. We're on an elite birthday. Wow. She's wow. Damn. Damn. wow. She's is the, she the first human of the 2000s? Yep. I think there's probably a few. Yup. She, is she the, could be. She's the first Zoomer. No. She is the Zuma. Is Zuma 2000? Zuma starts in like 97. Oh, we're, Zoom, we're Zoomers, remember? Yeah. We have oh, yeah, this whole shit. bit. 96 or 97. Anyway, it's sorry, stupid. Jackson. <laughs> Why would a new generation not start on 2000? They should have they done that. They should have done that. That's You're ridiculously right. stupid. I just want you guys to be millennials with me because it's not good alone. <laughs> new year who here? Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, I feel a lot of pressure on starting off with a good one. All right. So they rhyme and they're a bit cryptic and you can ask me questions. Oh, so it's like a riddle. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, romance city, bad smell, fancy hotel. What are we doing? Okay. <laughs> You're the figuring city of out. love. It's a person. Yes. A person, romance oh, city. Oh, I know what it is. Yeah. Who is it? Wait. Do I, I'll let the other guys go. Okay. Wait, can you say the middle part again? Romance city, yeah. bad smell, fancy hotel. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 Can right. you start us off with a hard one, Jackson? <laughs> Wait, on Romance, the we all say it the same time. Romance right. City, bad smell. Yeah, fancy no, hotel. Fancy, fancy hotel. hotel. We all know it. So don't, look don't look at the chat. The chat. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I had chat's got Okay, I've got Should we say it on three? Yeah. One, two, three. Pitbull. Paris Hilton. <laughs> Almost. Who's <laughs> 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 a pitbull? Pitbull. <laughs> <laughs> hotel, <laughs> motel. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. Was, Paris uh, Hilton. Because pa- the city of love, Paris. And yeah. Also, it's a pretty and shitty fa- city, all things Fancy considered. Hotel. Fancy hotel. Fancy pa- hotel. Oh, we, we don't talk in French. I can shit talk Paris. Yeah. It's pretty overrated. Oh. I okay. get the game now. I get the game. I'm going to try and go for another easier one, Jordan. Just, just to get, get you on the board. game. It's a riddle. Have you never seen one before? <laughs> <laughs> Water park, <laughs> suburb over here. Homer's favorite beer. Suburb yeah, okay, over I got here. It. I got it. What the fuck? <laughs> Peter's quick. Oh, yeah, I know it. <laughs> What is Homer's favourite beer? I don't know. <laughs> Dole beer? All right, I'm going to count a three. I wasn't allowed to watch it. it. One, two, three. Hillary Duff. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are killing you. Jordan. Hillary Duff. <laughs> Where were you? You should just guess people again. <laughs> I should have said something. For, for anyone, uh, Jackson's clue, uh, Water Sub- Park Suburb, it's where there was a oh. water slide place here in Perth. Oh, I thought those were two separate Hillary's things. Hillary's is a suburb here. Hillary's. Hillary's is a suburb here Should've where there was one. a water park. So if you're not from Perth, that's a tough one. Okay. I think they get a little bit ridiculous now. Oh so that was God. the easy ones? Those are the two easy ones. All right, Jordan, good luck. Yeah, it's my time to shine. <clears throat> Filter brand, primitive weapon in hand. <laughs> oh, I like this. Um, got it. Oh. Yeah. What is a filter brand? A brand of filtering water. Mm-hmm. I don't know. does have it. Filter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> he's got it. You're so bad at this. This might be my worst part. I can't believe this I'm is bad payback for Kanye, bro. <laughs> 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 this might be like what you know how brains are good at things, but like a yeah. fish, like you can't judge a fish by it climbing a tree. Yeah. This is my tree. <laughs> you know the saying, you can't judge a fish by climbing a tree. Yeah, <laughs> this is, yeah, this is my tree. You can't judge a fish by climbing a Didn't tree. Didn't Einstein say that? No, I I, no, you just said no. That you're that's a quote of some variety. It's it's just Jordan did. It's, it's, I think you that's can't a never judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree. Oh, well, that's pretty You're much what I said. You're the one climbs the tree and looks at the fish. <laughs> you can't judge a fish by, by climbing, climbing a tree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just picturing someone in a full wig and got a gavel in hand at the top of a tree looking down at some fish. Can't do this. Can't do it. Can't do it. That is a new sentence. <laughs> okay, so there's a filter. Filter. Filter sphere. brand. Yep. Yeah. Weapon in I hand. don't know a filter brand. I All don't, right, wh- just count us in. He's got Gatorade Spear. Think of famous people in the 2000s that have the last name Spear. Britney Spears. He's done it. God, he's good. What's a Britney? Britta. A Britta, Britta is the I've one. never heard of that but in my you, life. You just, if you get half the clue, because then you can work out the rest of it. It's either random people. I like said they're Jackson famous. Jackson has walked through it and you got it. Yeah, I only got Duff before, but who else has a surname Duff? Duff. It's Hillary oh, Duff. You respect. just need to get one of them. Okay. Really. Yeah. I'm a fiend at this game. Okay. Jordan's worked out how riddles work and yeah. now he can do I'm it. I'm going to win this one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now this one I didn't double check, but let's hope it's right. If Jordan Should we do a get- speed round, if Jordan's no, gonna no, get no, no, they're, they're gonna get harder. We gotta, we gotta okay. get, we gotta let me cook. Yeah, wimpy kid's brother, Maddie's significant other. Oh, 
I think I. <laughs> Maddie significant. What was the first bit? <laughs> Wimpy kid's brother. No, yeah, no, no. I don't think I'm gonna get this one. Okay. I think I know, but I'm, I think I'm on the wrong page a lot as well. Oh, have I got you for once? I also, could be wrong about Wimpy kid's brother's name. This I never read these books. Yeah, from my memory. No. I never read those, so I'm in I trouble here. Oh god, it's not. Is <laughs> can I throw? Have you, have you messed this one up? Yeah, everyone's saying Roderick, Wait, which is correct. Can I throw? It's a, not Roderick. Can I throw a guess out there? Uh, do people want more time to think? I think I'm wrong for the record. Oh, what do you think? Is? I got is nothing. The Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. No, the TV show. Huh? I just thought of something with Zach. Okay, Maybe it's- here's what's happened here. I <laughs> thought his name was Jay. And it's not. Oh, Jay Z. Yeah. Yeah. But it's Roderick. Oh. <laughs> and I didn't Google. Okay. Oh, I was thinking of Maybe Zach. Jay's his dad's name. <laughs> Is his name I don't really Gav- Galifianakis? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, hang- right. the hangover was Jay-Z. pretty big back then, wasn't Huge. it? Huge. Jay is not very close to Roderick. No. no. <laughs> not even remotely. Jay isn't any of their names, apparently. <laughs> uh, all right. Last one. <laughs> I like that a rhyme though, even though it made no fucking yeah. sense. Wait, yeah. Why last one? Is there only one left? There's only one left. <laughs> oh. Zach's like speed around this, like, bro, there's two. <laughs> I wanted you to get. More. Okay. This is fun. Middle rated movie, ridiculous sized booby. <laughs> no. <laughs> Good rhyme. Sh- shallow hell, Bazooka. <laughs> I thought it was shallow hell at first, but then. No, no. <laughs> Wait, can you please repeat the, the, the prompt? <clears throat> Middle rated movie, ridiculous sized booby. Middle rated. What's a song? What's a TV so a middle show rated movie? Boobs. If I can give you a clue, and I know this is not the rating s- system in America, it's the rating system here for movies. Oh. Okay. Oh. What are we thinking, Jordan? Jordan, talk, take us into the mind of Man, Jordan Ridley. Hard. What's well, going on? I was thinking ridiculous size booby must be like E or G cup. Yeah. So something Think even more ridiculous. A, B, C, D, F, G, H. Keep going. I. <laughs> okay. What does that even look like? I'm thinking the initials are M, A. I was thinking Machine Gun Kelly. Am I on... You're close. Oh, ratings like that. Yeah, yeah. no, I... So you've got the first so, bit. So, okay, now with that, can you... Sorry, tell me one more time the clue. I'm sorry. Middle-rated movie, ridiculous-sized booby. And I cannot booby. I cannot emphasise how ridiculous these boobies would be. Z. Not that ridiculous. You'd probably um, be dead. So are well, we thinking, thinking like, of like Kim Kardashian. It's a musician. This person. What was the rating system thing? Like PG. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking it's probably M. That's the middle of the system. I'm thinking mm. it's got to be the, f- the first part M. Yep. Marilyn. <laughs> oh, I think maybe. Have you got it? Madonna? Maybe, yeah. If he's got it, I think he wins the game. I think yeah, I've got okay, it. Go. go. Like MJ. No. No. Is it? What do you mean MJ? What is Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson. That's not a bad guess. <laughs> or Michael Jordan. I think like Michael M&M Jackson's or got ridiculous. Yeah. M&M. Yeah. M&M. Yeah. M&M. That would be, guys... A ridiculous size boot. A double M. Could you imagine oh my that? God. Uh, <laughs> and that's uh, New Year. New Year. Yeah. I win. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. M. M&M. That M&M. got pretty insane. You're right. That got yeah, pretty insane. They, they started off a bit more realistic. The uh, the inner machinations of Jackson's brain got revealed a bit at the end there. <laughs> Wimpy Kid's brother takes the L because that was no good. Just wrong. Roderick. Yeah. Good, uh, good right. Riddle is There you go. That a few riddles. Impressive. Riddles are fun. How long did that take you? Uh, 20 minutes. That's I mean, it's impressive. It's pretty good. Yeah. Very impressive. I had to like, I wrote out kind of what the clue would be and then I tried to make it rhyme. Yeah. yeah that's Makes a fun sense. one. Did, did wow. you play along at home audience? Did you get it? Well done. All right. <laughs> that's big. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'd have Peter's cliffhanger, but I think we should wait. We'll, we'll save that wait, for later. Wait, guys, I got a riddle. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I was wow. looking forward to talking about my cliffhanger, but we'll have to wait, no, no, I we'll guess. We'll have to wait. Ooh. We'll have to wait. Um, op- <laughs> this is terrible. Opposite of deep... Shallow. <laughs> something <laughs> something <laughs> of fame. How? Hall of Fame. Oh, Hall hell of Fame. Hell. <laughs> hell of fame. <laughs> How do you do hell? Um, it's hard. Yeah, but hell's not really. Your clue word. has to rhyme. That's why Jackson's were lit. Mm. Oh. Middle rated movie, ridiculous size boobie. It's it's like a so, little yeah. poem. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll work on it. That's Zach's 
uh, riddle. Do you want to have the Cool Cat Bad Dog update and a new one? Yeah, yeah that would be that. great. Time. For those that don't know, Cool Cat Bad Dog is just Am I the Asshole on Reddit, but we do it and Underdog it's style. Our, yeah, and our Yo. patrons submit their own stories. So, you know, they can actually hear their real life answers or maybe us calling them a bad dog. <laughs> do you reckon we give better or worse advice than Reddit? Oh, on I average, been. better for sure. Probably on average. I don't know. Yeah, on, on specific topics, worse. In general, oh, better. Yeah. I don't really read the Reddit one. Do you? Do you I've know? never seen yeah. it. But no, I would but guess. I not. think Peter just means like the people replying to Reddit posts. Are, are in we general. smarter than, than the, the average are, Redditor? Are we yeah. more adjusted than the average Redditor? No, that is a game show. Uh, are we? Are we smarter than the average Redditor? And it's like Ooh. we we get the answers right, but the Redditor has it in like two paragraphs long. Right. So even though uh, yeah, they're wrong, I feel like Redditors it's like they are usually quite right. clever, but they're a bit not accustomed to life. That you would know, be my analysis. Sophie put me so hard on blast. She was like, you know, sometimes in conversations, you're a bit of a Redditor. And I was like, what the fuck does Ooh, that mean? No, that's, that's accurate. What does it's that accurate. mean? It hurts my feelings. That's it's a one of those ones where it's that's like, a drive by. Peter, it's what does it mean? Described so accurately. It's, you know how I just, I'm um, actually you way too often. Oh, is that a Reddit thing? Yeah, it's just a bit of a uh, Reddit thing. Yeah, Reddit's it? very big. I've never, I never got into Reddit. I'll yeah, no, it. me neither. Yeah. Okay. Here's the update. The scarf story. Do you guys remember the scarf story? Yeah. Nope. Should we give him a <laughs> I, I do. Go on. Quick overview. Uh, this guy had a scarf made by his grandma. It was oh, very, yes. yeah, it was very. For a football team, I think. Yeah. Yeah. What's I think called? so, yeah. It was valuable to they, him. They took it to a football game, right? Yeah. Yeah. Gave it to their friend when they went to a football game. Uh, I believe it was a female friend. Yeah. And then uh, the female friend did not give it back. And they kept asking like, hey, have you looked for my scarf? Looked for my scarf. The female friend was like, no, I can't find it. Sorry. Didn't really seem to care about looking for the scarf from their point of view. Then the guy is round at her house one night uh, having like a party or something and goes off and looks in the girl's room for the scarf. Goes starts rummaging through shit yeah. to find it. Yeah. And then uh, she finds him, right? Doing yeah. that. And he gets caught by the party rummaging and they yeah. all think he's a bad, bad dog. Oh no, I believe it was like 50-50 split of who thought he was a bad dog. Or oh right? yeah, and it was like a debate in his friend group yeah. or something. Yeah. I thought it was a bad dog. I think Peter and I thought it was kind of good dog. I cool think cat. I thought bad. Cool cat. Sorry. I think Come you guys on. just my damn. It's been a while. It's been a while. I think you guys just thought that like the girl should have been fucking looking for the scarf. Like she was being a bit lazy and shit by yeah, not do, caring. Do about two it. wrongs make a right? Are you feeling a happy update or a sad update coming? I'm here? feeling a sad update. No, it's got to be happy. I, feel. I think it's got to be happy. They showed them the pod and we had a discussion about it and they were like, "Wow, we're all right in our own ways." Wait, they showed them the pod. No, that's that's my oh, that's just prediction. Peter's prediction. All right, update on the scarf story. Last time I had a "Am I the bad dog?" regarding a scarf I'd lent a friend of mine, which had never been returned to me at the point. At one point, I'd gone through her stuff. Yep. Okay, now just this weekend, perfect timing for you guys asking for more. Alice called me very excited and she had found the scarf. Oh, oh. happy ending, I hope. <clears throat> Turns out her roommate had put it in some box while cleaning and then had put that box in the attic. I understand why Alice hadn't looked there because why would the scarf be there? Yeah. Anyhow, Alice is now moving out of that place and was going through her stuff and found the scarf. She apologized for not having looked hard enough, but I said it was no worries, not her fault, and apologized for having gone through her stuff. We hadn't talked much since the incident, so it was nice to be happy with each other again. P.S. I got invited to a moving in party next Saturday, so I hope we can be friends. Oh, I love Ooh, this update. Hell yeah. That's nice. Oh, that amazing. was beautiful. Good thing I was feeling a negative update because I was so pleasantly surprised. <laughs> That's sick. That's good. I mean, I'm glad that you both could look past the being salty at each other because you both kind of wronged each other. But it was yeah. kind of justified from all of you. So it's like, what are you going to do? Shit happens. There's no better human moment than a mutual apology. It's like, yeah. I'm sorry for this. And like, yeah, uh, uh, thank you. And I'm sorry for this. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Don't you reckon? Sometimes you yeah. just shit happens, eh? Yeah. It's like nobody has to be in the wrong necessarily. Yeah, just someone did something wrong. Probably both people usually. <laughs> Let's accept it. I love how it's like, you know, sometimes nobody has to be in the wrong. And the segment <laughs> is literally cool cat. <laughs> it's like, we are deciding who's in the wrong. That's our job. And, and we're someone's like, you know always what? in the wrong. <laughs> we're like, you know what? No. It's actually a pretty interesting point that it's just like, <laughs> sometimes shit just happens. Oh, 100%. It's like, you cannot just cool cat, bad dog, everything. All right. New one. Uh, let's but we will. call this person, Jordan. Give us a name. A boy or girl name or it doesn't matter. Mm. I'm going to say Lenny. Lenny. That works for both. <laughs> a couple Tough of years it. ago, my friend was having a going away. I ain't ever seen a hot bitch called Lenny. <laughs> Yo, Lenny. <laughs> what do you mean? If you're turning, you ain't looking hard enough. <laughs> if you're turning away girls called Lenny, you are missing out. Sorry, my bad. How's Lenny's? that spell? Like N-E-L-E-N-I? That's how I'm Oh, that's kind of hot yeah. now, actually. Lenny. Yeah. It's like the European version of Lexi. Yeah. Lenny. Right, so Lenny writes. Hi, I'm Lenny. It's like, oh, nice to meet you. What's your name? And they like don't speak very good English. They're like, Lenny. 
Lenny. Lenny. Hello. Or it's got a bit of a, like a roll to it, like Lenny. <laughs> I don't know oh, about that one. Middle Eastern Lenny. Where was the roll? I got a roll, mate. That was so a stumble. You had phlegm, but you tried yeah. to talk. Yeah. I, can't, I can't roll my R's, so I just tried to. <laughs> I decided to try and roll an L. Hi, I'm Lenny. Instead, I, I took the fucking L. Yeah, there was no Sorry, roll. That was a square wheel. Fucking <laughs> Lenny. Spanish Lenny turned into Middle Eastern Lenny in about one second. All right, you try fucking. Fucking rolling an L. Renny. 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 Okay, Renny, right? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> right. Like Lenny's so hot. <laughs> oh, God. A couple of years ago, my friend was having a going away party since he was moving across the country for What's college. What's friend's name? <laughs> <laughs> Leonard. Okay. We Brandon. had this whole thing planned where we rented out a whole Airbnb near a beach a few miles from near where we live. As soon as I was going to leave, I get a call from my boss. He wanted me to come in and work on my day off. I immediately told him no because it was my day off and everything. He insisted and kept telling me to clock in. Oh, God. I told him I had a, a thing going on with friends that was really important. He seemed genuinely pissed from his voice. I'm guessing they were getting railed that day. Nice. Nice. And we're getting customers <laughs> <Go>. nonstop. <laughs> Coming in. <laughs> what kind of job is this? I told him repeatedly, but he wouldn't budge. He threatened to fire me. That's in all capitals. If I didn't come in. Oh, my God. I was then contemplating whether... So I was then contemplating whether I should work that day or not. I then saw my friends arrive at my house to pick me up. They looked so ecstatic for the day. And then I told my boss on the phone, a girl, no. Then hung up the phone. This boss sounds my like boss, the worst. My boss, a girl, person. no? Is that correct? I, I then told my boss on the phone, a girl, oh, no comma, no. Yeah, the comma's after no, which yeah. is why I was yeah, confused. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm so glad I didn't end up working because that day was a blast. My boss didn't fire me, but I could sense some tension between us for the bad from the day forward. Dude, cool cat all the way cool to cat. the bank. Oh, there's, there's not even a no contest. contest yeah. No contest. It does the, sound terrible. I wonder if they still work there. That is illegal in Australia to fire someone over that. It's like- Not you, coming you in? You can't be fired. If it's your day off and they're asking you to come in- Unless you yeah. sign a contract, which is like you have to be ready at all times to go. Yeah. Then it's not like you can't do that. You what, just, what about the uh, getting railed clause? Where does that come into? <laughs> that comes with, man, that sucks. Hey, good luck. Yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, there's no negative um, there. Yeah, I feel. very easy decision for us. Uh, like, this boss fucking sucks. Yeah. Yeah, shitty ass boss. Yeah. Man, I, when you hear of like good bosses and the, like it's really just. Night and day, isn't it? Yeah, who you work with really does uh, see how good the job is. It's crazy because it's like you got to respect each other's time equally. Yeah. And I think that workplaces often forget that because I was having this conversation with Sophie yesterday and it's like, oh, I work till, you know, 10 past and then they rounded it down to on the hour and they were like, oh, can you stay for a bit? Oh, actually, we don't need you. So you did 10 minutes of work. And I was like, that's not fair. That's not good. Yeah. That's not right. You know what I mean? Like- if you get enough people doing if an they, extra 10 minutes, you just got like a full new yeah. employee. Yeah. If, if they say, <laughs> we want you to be here, ready to start working at, you know, eight on yeah. the hour, whatever. You ready to go. N no, like coming in, getting ready. And it's like, okay, I want to be ready to leave yeah. on the hour I'll be leaving. at that time. It's like, it goes both ways, right? And it's like it that. Should. You're like carrying a tray of food out. Then it like ticks <laughs> over to eight o'clock. You're it. like, boom, yeah. they yeah. it on the floor. If like, see they they should. Yeah. If, if they expect you to be ready to pick up a tray on the hour, you should be ready to fucking put it down okay. on the hour. Yeah. Imagine this. You have robots fulfilling the job of humans. Right. Robots good. are programmed to work from... 8 till 5 every day but then like as soon as it ticks over to 5 o'clock they just like Switch stop up. working so it's like it's like you're carrying trays out and then you just like flop onto the floor like you forget how to carry trays yeah, yeah. what if it was like that we should do a little severance thing remember that show Nope. No. It's the one where you like separate your work life from your home life. Like your brain doesn't remember the time you spend at work. Oh, oh. is this that show you were talking about? Yeah. It's like really good show. Adam Sandler. Yeah. yeah. Yes. What's that one? <laughs> I thought he was about to reference the dog, the bounty hunter again. No. <laughs> but if we did like a severance thing. Yeah. And then like, you know, as soon as it Clicks hits your time off work, you literally forget how to do your job. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. So yeah, um, I'd say this is an undoubted cool cat. Yeah. This is just your that one's yeah. one. That Bad. One. Bad dog boss. Big mm -hmm. bad dog boss. So yeah. it turns out there is a bad dog and a cool cat in some stories. You can't be getting stroppy like that if you're a boss. Yeah, it's like, oh, I need you. Oh, so I'm going to fire you. And it's like, well, you know you're not. You yeah. can't need it's me that It's such bad. an empty threat. Yeah. Man, imagine an emotional boss. Wait till he finds out how many staff they have when he fires her. Yeah, exactly. He's like, we're so understaffed. I'm going to fire you. And then the next, <laughs> yes. the next so day, dumb. he's like, oh, no. <laughs> why do we have one less person? <laughs> Come we're back, so Lenny, understaffed. Please. It's like, oh, it was Lenny. Lenny was meant to be working today, but apparently she got fired. 
Fuck, I miss Lenny. You want to see the Lenny? Fuck, that's funny. There you go, that's Lenny. Lenny. <laughs> that's uh, Cool Cat Bad Dog. That's another week done. Jordan. What if we nailed it and this person's name is actually Lenny? <laughs> They're like, oh, they're not pronouncing it correctly. Then you came through and sorted it out. So if yeah. there's any clinies in the chat, yeah, please leave a comment on this video. <laughs> Plus one for any clinies out there. Uh, you can be a guest if your name is Clenny. <laughs> Clenny. But I need is your birth certificate and it's got to somehow have the throat gurgle in it. <laughs> it's got to have the umlaut or whatever. <laughs> umlaut. So now let's move on to our predictions for this year. Oh, yeah. Right? We're oh. going to predict stuff. And if it's right, you get to come back and say these guys are oracles. And if anything's not right, no one's going to come back and look at it anyway. Yeah, what are you going to do, fact check us? Yeah. I say wrong shit all the time. Okay, I'll start if you guys yep. don't have one yet. <laughs> <laughs> I predict the rise, I said this briefly in the before the podcast preamble, mm. I predict the rise of the diagonal phone <laughs> meta. Where, okay, yeah. so we used to have horizontal phone where you watch YouTube videos. We've moved to vertical phone because that's just how people, more, like for TikTok and shorts, yep. Turn it to 45 degrees so that it is like horizontal on its longest plane, I guess, like end to end. So imagine the phone is at about maybe a 30 degree thing. You get the widest screen possible. And there's nothing stopping creators from using your phone this way. Like if so I uploaded a video to YouTube in this aspect ratio, you could already watch it on a phone. Whoa. You there's nothing up, stopping us. You should us. do that. We'll up, watch this diagonally. Yeah, I, maybe I will. Maybe I'll start it. <laughs> yeah, okay, I mean, no. that's a good way to get your resolution. Done. And like, I, I'm not, uh, I'm not exactly sure how you're going to hold it, but that's a problem for it to. That's going to be worked out later. But that's my prediction. I'm looking at it, and it is kind of an issue because you get the worst of both worlds. What do you mean? No, no, I'm just saying, like, for when it becomes big, but you also get I'm the best of both worlds. <laughs> oh, but like vertical is good because then like a person is a vertical thing. Right? Yeah, and why so is horizontal then, good? Uh, because you get to see more of the background. Yeah, okay, you get even more of the background with this one. But then you get like, oh, the, and you get the floor and the sky. Yeah, actually. it's the most scenic. Yeah. You get floor to ceiling. We got him. That was Whoa. easy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it, it it expands the the screen size without expanding the screen size. Well, you got to get in it before anyone else does, Peter. You got to start sure, making the vertical videos before then. True. No, not vertical, diagonal. Sorry, Zach. What the oh, fuck? I'm too. <laughs> Um, so what would be the best video? I guess a landscape one at that point. I'll be a slow A nature documentary YouTube video and diagonal? That would be cool. All right. Mm. I'll make it. That'd be I, um, sick. And you, you taking all the cameras and just holding them diagonal as you shoot it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. So do you think we overcorrected with the... We went the wrong way. Yeah, it's went like too the, far. we're at the cold porridge right now. We had the hot porridge at the start. And now we're just waiting for the I'm hitting that form. baby bear shit with nice. this diagonal phone. What a similar note. I think... This is a prediction slash maybe just a want of mine. I think people are starting to trend away from like shorts and TikToks and like more into like longer, like less edited stuff. Look at Sam Sullock. He's <sighs> fucking huge and he just does 45 he's minute huge. unedited videos. Yeah, he's huge. Look yeah, at Sam literally sure. like everyone <laughs> else on the that, internet. An outlier does not cause a trend. Nah, 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 but it's trending. He's absolutely an outlier. But we got a whole year to get to this point where, and we'll be in the phase of- It's a prediction for a reason. Videos. It's not that we're going there yet. I've seen, I've seen lots of people actually trending that way. Bro, I hope so. Have you been seeing people so. do this? I've been seeing people do this. Hell yeah. Unedited. <laughs> like this guy, Daniel Thrasher has his second channel where he just like, talks about something for like sets a timer for 30 minutes just talks about it and plays a game and like those do pretty well isn't well, this just streaming yeah but in the video there's gotta mod? be there's a big rise in what I'm think I'm coining 50% content where you only have to pay 50% attention oh yeah and, like background noise and then you can thing. like crochet Ooh. or something while yeah, you're watching yeah. Yeah. people uh, like that stuff more and more these days no one wants to pay full attention or anything like anymore. podcasts yeah, definitely like podcasts. So if you're doing something else while listening to this, good on you. Also, you're you on can, the trend. You can watch your TikToks yeah. while you're watching your <laughs> yeah. long form content in the exactly. background. So it's it's a sign of even less attention. I like yeah. to listen to podcasts no, while I scroll not the TikTok. Of attention exactly. span. It's no, the loss no, no, of it. Not at all. Well, that's funny. Oh no. Oh fuck. And then it keeps stacking on, right? So then the long form, like Sam Sullock, will eventually become like shorter and shorter and shorter. Mm -hmm. Then you'll be having your TikToks, which are now at this point <laughs> insanely digital. Generate yeah. like and then fast. Behind, <laughs> so behind. you're watching your, your really, really fast TikToks yeah. in a year. Then you got your Sam Selleck in the background, but then you, that's too little now. Yeah, so behind that nice. is my diagonal nature documentary behind <laughs> Which him. is also four hours long and has yeah, no yeah, cuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, it's it's yeah. not a documentary, it's me walking through the park. It's not interesting in the slightest. Yeah, okay. It's coming up big, 50% content. It hasn't been coined. What about any, like, any fashion trends? What like new shit's going to oh, come what's out? What's coming back in that? Do not ask me. 
Um, like, what's the worst thing I can imagine jeggings. that's going to come back? Jeggings are going to be big this year. Coloured skinnies. So the spray paint. Ooh. Like, you just spray paint your legs and look like skinny jeans. They've done that where they paint people's Hey, that was a thing for a bit. Yeah, that's going to be a daily yeah. thing well, in 2024. You paint yourself. Instead yeah. of wearing clothes. You paint clothes <laughs> on. <laughs> the fuck? That wasn't for very long. Well, that that was seems paint. so annoying. Yeah, oh, the, yeah. Paint, the paint costs so much. Yeah. More than a shirt. Yeah, yeah, that person over, you're just like, you can't sit on my couch. You can't. Yeah. yeah. And, and you're sweating out. now. Yeah. You got blue everywhere. Oh, imagine being a sweaty person and doing body paint. Yeah, so exactly. It's like <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> If you're covered in body paint, your sweaty parts are going to run more. And yeah. it's like it's like wearing a grey t-shirt times 100. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. You know, it's worse that. than like, we've talked on the podcast before about times when some of us have unfortunately shat our pants. Some of us being you and Jordan. Yeah. yeah. Well, Thank you. Know you. What's, you know what's worse <laughs> than that? Not having a pair of pants to shit in. It just falls on the floor. You oh, don't even have time. If anything, man. that sounds better. Oh, that's going to be all right. No, but you've got to ruin wherever you are. You're in a social setting. You don't have any time to go like- you're in a social setting, you're shitting your pants. <laughs> you're in trouble. You're in, you're in trouble. trouble. Yeah, but at least you have a container. I'm, not, I'm just saying, you know, some people face this problem probably more- more if I if I was to shoot myself again in high school again, I would prefer to keep the pants on. Yeah, do you reckon when Thanks, a dog Jordan. shits in the park and, and that's you're from an experienced pants, pants that shitter. is. Imagine I was in that class and now I just shit the chair, and it's just shit in the room, and now it's there. Everyone sees it because I got away with it scot free. I went to the bathroom, took my undies off, left them there. Anyways, Peter's <laughs> microphone is so down. He's letting you be wrong, but I think I'm so right. I've never been more no, right John, in my you life. Are right, and they're not going to tell us otherwise. So we, we exactly. Will. You're right. Thank you. Uh, so any resolu- Sorry, any predictions from the fellas, Jackson? Any sports that are going to come into fashion or any sports? Well, I don't, I don't know. New sports. sports. There hasn't yeah. been a new sport in a well, while. You're a, you're a sports guy. They get more popular. Like basketball had a massive come up, like in the past, like 20 years. Has it? Yeah, I don't know. I think it's, it's been like, falling it's off. So in pop culture now. No, it's always it, been in pop culture. No, no, no. Michael Jordan ascended it. Yeah. You know what's the in most like recent sport? I think it's slowly fallen almost, yeah. maybe. You know what it is? Pickleball. That's huge yeah, in America. Not so big here, I think. Oh, pickleball might be the new big one. Pickleball is... Well, that's that was 2023's trend. Shit. Right. So, okay, pickleball's mini tennis. We've got to do mini other sports because that shit's Mini hot. basketball. That's yeah, right mini now. sports are hot. So what's like something that's way too annoying? Golf. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly behind the curve there. Okay. Oh, you someone, if you had that same thought 100 years ago, okay. you're a genius. Look at this. Yeah. What's popular? Tennis, table tennis, yeah. pickleball in yeah. the middle. Yeah. So we're going to have middle golf. That's super, super golf. golf. Super golf. Well, okay, Probably we're going to have table way. golf. It's like mini golf, but everything's tabletop size, like a pool table, but for mini golf courses. That does sound pretty that's, I like that. And that's becoming big in 2024. But there might be a, they need quite a big table. Can you that. imagine losing the ball that's like one millimeter in fucking diameter? <laughs> that that said, so. hey, you don't need a big table because all 18 holes fit on the table. It's, it's just, really mini. It's really that's mini. That's my kind of table. Yeah. All right. All right. Should we move on then? Question of the week. I was thinking maybe Peter's cliffhanger. Nah, not time Question yet. Question of the week we'll first. We'll wait. We'll wait. Okay. Peter's cliffhanger is um, coming though. It's a good segment though. It's the Bobbit One Question of the Week. I think we should theme every month. That's What's a statement, the question? Jordan. Can uh, we theme every month, please? <laughs> okay. Question mark. Well, <laughs> sorry, I should have let you be wrong with that one. That's my bad. <laughs> Look, I think Christmas. You know, everyone gets hyped about it. It feels like something's happening. December, October. Halloween, I would say, is probably the second most themed month. But for I don't think it's very it themed is. for us. America anyway. is very is much up s- it's spooky season. But I reckon it feels like I feel like the world progresses more when there's a month. Like December happened, and now it's like oh, a new year. There's a progression. Yeah. I do like the spook, like the seasons of stuff. I, yeah, I, I might be the problem on board. is like, uh, what do we do in January? Well, we well, that's kind it. of that's New Year. That one makes sense to me. That's All why right. he said, "Can we themed and not." No, but New Year kind of ends pretty That's quick. almost December now, people still. People are still onto their new shit. Like everyone's oh. trying to be a better person. So like December's month. the time for giving. January's the yeah. time for self-improvement. Yeah, yeah. Maybe January you have to like, you know, Christmas, you get a tree in that. January, you just get rid of stuff. All oh, cool. yes. Yeah, spring cleaning. Throw out months. Like your house is like more empty. Mm. We already have spring cleaning in spring. So maybe we should maybe move that I've one never back. heard it. What's spring cleaning? It's just like at the time of year, you just start cleaning your shit. You'd really never heard get that. Rid of your Summer, stuff. autumn, winter, spring. Yeah. It's just, oh, it's those, just those 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 four months. Helped you, what, you figure out what So it's after Christmas was. for Americans. They clean. Do they? Is that when spring is? I don't know. I'm don't asking know. you. Yeah, it is. Do, oh, they do you not hear this? me just say? Summer, yeah. autumn, winter, spring. So spring has sprung. 
Not quite. No, it's not, not quite. spring not for a while, actually. It'll be spring in two months, but then you Ages. get rid of all your shit from Christmas. They We got spring cleaning at the wrong time. Yeah, we need autumn cleaning Wait, in the Southern Hemisphere. Are we still on yeah. January? Yeah. <laughs> we got to get through all the Second months. of January. Yeah, yes. No, but oh, I was right. saying that Jordan's was already taken by spring of uh, clean up month. So February is love, love what about month. Try new things month is January. No, surely. That's Try good. new things. Yeah. Okay. Love month, February. Love month. Yeah, that's good. What the fuck happens in March? Flies. March is when you, just, you start to realise. That's what like, I'm saying. March in real life is when it kind of dies down for a while. Yeah. We March need is... Harp it up. What about... Grim pa- realisation no, month. No, patri- patriotism month. Because, like, yeah, Americans have 4th of July. We have our Australia Day... That's in January, in right? Sometime in January, depending yeah. on when you celebrate it. Yeah. March... Is like universal for everyone though. Well, every English speaker. So we have nationalism month. Yeah, it's because you're marching yeah, like yeah. the army. Oh, oh, oh you march. And we oh, marching march. No, yeah. Marching march. Marching well, march. You know, maybe you could just be very loyal to your job. You're marching to work every day. You know, it's like a bit of rigidity after the love month. Rigidity. Oh. The love month, everyone went fucking crazy trying their new orgy. Now everyone gets in order. Everything. Okay, well, April needs to be like Bonanza month or something. I just think, like no, insanity. no, April is tricking month for April Yeah, Fools. yeah. Everyone, gets oh, it's like, oh, everyone jokes around. Everyone like, you can go to dinner instead of a turkey. There's a whoopee cushion oh on the God. chair. <laughs> Guys, I got it. April True. can be egg on your face month because it also includes Easter. Oh. And it's like Amazing. it's like the pranksters, like egg on your face. Oh, Peter right. didn't think he deserved that. <laughs> no, that was good. That was incredible. It's not a, I don't hear that saying very often, but Peter, yeah. you egg don't just want to be quiet about being. You're wrong about this. I it was quiet. Really I, it got pointed out. Well, I didn't say <laughs> no, shit. He didn't. He yeah. didn't. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, what up to May? Yep. May I, the fourth. Do we already have Star um, Wars month? Like holidays in all these months, we just don't really celebrate them because I think if we celebrated every month like we do December, it would be fucking exhausting. Has May got shit? Star Wars. Other than and that. my birthday. Oh, Jordan. <laughs> Jordan's birthday, Mark. Jordan's birthday, Mark. That's global. I think that they organise it so like, because you know how the Queen's birthday and the King's birthday, they're yeah. not on the King and Queen's birthday. Yeah. yeah. They put them when there's nothing else on. What's in May though? I feel like nothing. I'll look at May. May public holidays. Or did they do it for the first King and Queen and they kept it? No. Oh. Well, we don't need to build off existing holidays though. We can just, what if we take a page out of Jordan's book and Go it's on. like minimalist May? Well, we've already done that. That's kind of January almost. Yeah, is it no, redo? Let's try new things. Oh, minimalist if, if May then. January is minimalist like the, May. I'm on board. The new experiences. Yeah, yeah. You like maybe that could be the cleaning, the spring, the fall cleaning. June. What's June? Because you got to get rid of all not your a shit. Single public I holiday so. in Western Australia in, uh, in May. May. Whoa. So minimalist month, minimal holidays, minimal. Get rid of your stuff you don't need. Because I, I mean, Easter takes them all up. Yeah, Easter's fucking smashed. Easter's them. fucked. All right, we're making good progress here. June. June, June, June. That's my birthday month, so that's important. Nice. So, what would you? What's a trait that you want to instill onto the month? June, I June. reckon I, it's got to be. It's got to be stay in bed, June, because it's yeah. the. It's here. It's winter. It's the shittest month. Well, it's not. It's not very good for Americans. Yeah, but we're not worried global. about global. Stay yeah, in bed. Well, do your taxes. There's a reason that public holidays are based on country, right? Yeah, you're right. So wait, are we meant to be making each month as good as Christmas though? I don't know if stay in bed and do your taxes is going to be rivaling Christmas. <laughs> it's got to be done, man. <laughs> yeah, it's like the time to relax and get your shit together. Yeah, it's like, because like show gratitude to your loved ones in December, but I can't mm. do that all the time. Yeah, maybe yeah. it's just like reassess month this June. So yeah. like, where are we at? Where are we at? Where, where are we at, at, June? Maybe it's New Year's 2. <laughs> New Year's 2. Because New Year's is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, you know Mid-year's how everyone improves their lives. Ooh, like they try to have these resolutions and that mm. for January then they don't end up lasting very long. What if we had a refresh in oh, June? I was like, check in on your goals, June. Do you guys find- Financial uh, Year's Eve. Do you guys find New Year's depressing? <laughs> no, never. I kind of like it. I find it very depressing. It's New like, Year's well, is great, but good. one week later when I don't do any of my resolutions, it sucks. Yeah, it's like everyone's, I'm setting the same goals I set last year. I'm just like, oh, here we go again. I think it depends if you take it as a goal setting thing or you take it as a celebration of the previous year. Well, that's why I didn't really set any new, like, New Year's resolutions. I don't do that. I've anymore. never actually set goals. Maybe that's why I've never found it depressing. Yeah. It, I'm, I'm setting myself up for next year, on though. On the topic of holidays, we've been talking about it a lot. Yeah. I realised I don't actually know how to celebrate. Oh. <laughs> what do you on. mean? Elaborate. Like, it was my birthday a couple of weeks ago. Right. And uh, Sophie's like, hey, what do you want to do? And I'm like, I don't fucking care. Yeah, I don't do anything for my birthday. No, fucking nothing. And she's like, well, don't you want to celebrate? And I'm like, what? A, I, I was born. Yeah. What did I do to earn this celebration? I want to celebrate something I've achieved. Yeah, I agree. And she was like, well, you've achieved everything in your life 
Like a, you've achieved having loved ones around you. You've achieved be you having that, this no? job. So that is what you're celebrating with your birthday. Oh, you're not celebrating being born. You're just celebrating your life in general. Yeah. I was like, your existence. It's like a day a, for you. It's a pretty sick point, actually. So yeah. maybe I should learn to celebrate things better. Because it it's resolution? just a gratitude thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's like the ultimate gratitude. It's just a good gratitude thing. And I was like, fuck, I should probably celebrate my birthday a bit more. Yeah. yeah. Can, yeah. I ta- can I tack one thing onto this every month thing? Go for yeah. it. We have every month's Eve. <laughs> and then it's like just what, a, June Eve at the end of May. Yeah. yeah. And then we had to do pinch and punch at midnight. Well, wow. and it's, it's the cool. same thing with like the refresher on the resolutions. You're just always thinking about the like, I'll be better in June. June Eve's coming. It June does make Eve. sense if you uh, want to be really real about these goals is you have a goal for each June. Like uh, on February Eve, I want to have achieved this. A year's yeah. too long, isn't goal. it? It's so long. It's so long. What, do we do the rest of the month? So I feel like they do themselves. I feel like we've kind of paid it out on this one, but it's, yeah. a, it's a good one. I know, part comment, two comment. coming next year. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we'll get the best ones from the comments. So yeah. what do we need? July, September, August. I feel like the other three have November them. doesn't have shit. We need November Thanksgiving. too. Thanksgiving. Not for we us. We don't have We've never done that. Yeah, give us that December? Give us Thanksgiving no, too. Nah, th- November. It's almost the same time as Christmas on oh, really? November, I think. Or roughly. All right, so... Cool. That's yeah, that. give us, give us a comment question. below your best ones and we'll revisit it next podcast. Um, let's hear this cliffhanger. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. One minute. Please. All right, Diff, you cut the pot off right now. <laughs> I'm so you. tempted. Yeah, you know, it's I totally... Un- okay, I'll, I'll get onto it. So I got invited by some friends who I met through kind of like some mutual, mutual connections who also do some influencer type stuff to do some cliff jumping, which is something I've always been a fan of. You guys know that we've done it in a few mm-hmm. videos and shit. Cliff jumping at our favorite spot. It was all good. Like we go there, one oh of the God, guys I'm just scared. jumps off. He does like a hell's like steezy backflip and it's just dope. What's what? a steezy backflip? Uh, what is steezy? Steezy is when you do something and make it look easy with like style. You know what I mean? Like oh, it's really big with like skater. It's like skater lingo basically. Cause yeah. like you, anyone who's good at skating yeah. can do a kickflip. Yeah. But can you make it steezy? Jordan's steezy That's funny. Sick. So steezy. like, it's like, You're it's doing, funny. it's doing a basic in just uh, like the coolest looking way. Cause it, it, that nobody cares if you do a triple kickflip because it just looks all the same to him. Mm. What's the opposite? But if you do it with Steez. What's the opposite of Steezy? That's definitely me. Crusty. <laughs> it's like, Crusty. it's hard for me to do and then I tell everyone what I've done so it's like not cool at all. It's like the opposite of clean. <laughs> it's, it's like, even if I get like a hype combo in Smash, I talk about yeah, it so much, it becomes so You can shit. get a clean combo, but it's not like... You make it look like a lot of work. Like Custy professional kind of like Steezy. Like professional sports stars, when you look at them and they look like they're just in slow-mo. Because they're yeah. like I so it's good. Most professional sports, and then you try and you're like, wait, what? Yeah, Michael yeah. Jordan. Yeah, sorry, Steezy. I said Custy and Krusty. They're opposites. Sorry. <laughs> uh, anyway, so someone does like a whole Steezy looking backflip. It's sick. Uh, next guy goes, uh, <laughs> does a backflip, <clears throat> over rotates, and lands pretty much flat on his side from ten meters. <laughs> Ouch! Like it's it's like a backflip, but he kind of half turned onto his side, and it is like. A bad landing, like bad. And you guys all know at the top of the cliff, you're like, Pfft. I'm looking and like, he's, this guy's flopped before. Yeah. I've seen a video of it and you know, it happens, man. It happens. It fucking hurts. It happens. And he kind of comes out of the water. And we hit like, he's like, you are right. We're like looking down off this cliff and we're all up the top still. You're right. No, no reply. Oh, like, has he put his head up? Yeah. His head's kind of emerged, but he's like not looking at us. Yeah. He's kind of like looking forwards. He's clearly in a lot of pain. Like, <sighs> and then. After like being out of the water for a sec, he rolls on to his front, face down in the water, and then a big bubble comes out of his mouth. Like he's like face down, like dead body, big bubble comes out. And I'm like, oh fuck. And so I like jump off the cliff to go and like- Did you look steezy? Uh, no, I was not. <laughs> Imagine if you've got a rest zone, you back. <laughs> I'm coming in. <laughs> and yeah, no, jumped in the water and like propped him up. And then he, he like kind of came to and then coughed up some blood and then got Ooh, out of the water. What? Some blood. But he legitimately passed out in like 10 yeah, meters so deep water. the impact of his head hitting the yeah, water? Yeah, we got a concussion. Fuck. And like literally oh passed God. out. It was fucking scary, man. And it was one of those ones where something's really, really scary happens and you kind of just go, I, are we just going to ignore that that just happened? Yeah. Because then you don't know if there's like internal bleeding going on or something. Yeah, it's, it's like you cover up blood because like your lungs get slapped around and yeah. then it's like, oh, it's That's like Qui-Gon Jinn's wife. And then, yeah, and I'm like, and then we're like, we're, the day for this, we're, we're there for this like day of doing shit. Right. And it's like the second jump of the day and it's like, yeah, who was up next? Me. <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking hectic. And yeah. so guys, just, just the moral of the story, it's just a crazy thing that happened to me, but 
moral of the story, do not do these things alone yeah, if you're doing these tip. things. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm not saying you shouldn't do this because if you're with people who know what they're doing, like, I'm not saying that I'm an expert, but I'm confident I can jump in, I can tread water, I can help you to some degree. If you yeah. die, you die. But, you know, like, I can help you if you're, you know, in a pretty grim one. Mm. And, yeah, no, he was saying, he was like, yeah. It was like, yeah, so I all I remember hit the water and then I tensed all my body. And as soon as I let go of that tension, I just started dreaming. Yeah. And he's oh face down God. in the water dreaming. It's like, this is, and it's like water where you can't see the bottom either. It's yeah, like 15 yeah. meters deep he where that is. He would be gone. Um, fucked. Peter, was it the guy that I know that was there? No, that guy was also there, but he was the right. one with the steezy one. Oh, he looks steezy. Oh, legend. I don't know if you this care is, about his guy's name is Cam Bostock. He does an adventure YouTube. Oh, the one from the YouTube. Yeah, yeah. YouTube yeah. meter. So yeah, he, cool. he does like a no, pretty viral like, on I mean, TikTok. It's just like a for, shout out, right? But no, I was just curious if it was him. Yeah, no, he, no, he had mad steez. He's very, very, he's really experienced. So he's all right. Oy. Oy. Oh, so yeah, guys, be. please do these things with a friend. Uh, do not do this shit alone. More than just a friend, someone that can help you. Someone who knows someone what they're wrong. doing. Yeah. yeah someone wow. who's not going to backflip on their way to rescue you. Or play some video games. <laughs> oh, stay yeah, safe. Just, just, just be careful, Smash guys. Bro. Just stay safe. So that Clean was garden. <laughs> Clean pretty, garden. pretty hectic experience. So that was a bit of a yikes. Yeah, wow. Doesn't really Oof. fit the mood of the rest of the pod, but I just thought it was a crazy story. Was it a fun day though? Oh, no, we played spike ball. We did some slack lighting after. It was all good. I played spike What ball, is slacklining? It's like tightrope walking, except it's not very tight. Huh. So Makes you're sense. on like a, it's like a, a fabric thing that's maybe three inches wide. Yeah, yeah, right. And it's flat and it's wobbly in the middle. And is that where you do tricks on it? Or you uh, just You walk- kind of just try and walk across it. It's yeah. very, if you're sick, you can do tricks on it, but I can't I've, do that. I've seen that though, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spike ball is going to be big this year. That's my prediction. It's huge. Yeah. Don't worry, the guy is okay though. I saw him the next day. Thank God. Awesome. Was he concussed? He probably was. So me and Sophie were there. So Sophie's being concussed. So she knows how serious it is. So we were trying to emphasize how serious concussion is because you know, I know. Mm. But if you haven't had one before, you don't know. If you know, you know. Guys, if you get concussed, chill the fuck out. Do not do anything else for the whole day. Yeah. If not weak, mm. it's just not worth it. Yep. Yeah, right. Brain damage. Well, and with a bit of uh, education. Jordan, give us yeah. a singer. <sighs> nope. <laughs> zinger. Uh... How do you get Pikachu on a bus? Pokemon. 